Today, fans, friends, and family celebrating the legend who started Stubbs Barbecue. That's C.B. Stubblefield. He went by the name of Stubb. Well, tonight, the city is going to be celebrating his induction into the National Barbecue Hall of Fame. He died in the mid-90s, so his grandson is going to be the one accepting the honor on his behalf. Chris Davis has the story. Almost everybody's been to Stubbs, so. <laughs> the name is a fixture in Austin and a staple on store shelves. I wish he was here to, to see how much the company's grown, you know. Rocky Stubblefield remembers his granddad's original restaurant in Lubbock. He'd be at the restaurant all day, but then late at night he'd come home with trays and barbecues. So, you know, just ribs and brisket and sausage on a big tray. That was before he moved the restaurant to Austin in the 80s. This is actually some of the original bottles. Before the sauce empire was born. You know, you actually see that he was like, gluing some of the labels on himself. <laughs> Rocky works for the sauce company now. His granddad lives on in the restaurant too. It's an iconic name. It's an iconic location. It's, it's very important to uh, maintain this property of Stubbs Barbecue for years and years to come. This is where the celebration will be tonight. A VIP ceremony at 5 and a public concert at 7. It's everybody coming together again as he would want it for live music and great barbecue. That was his vision. A vision the West Texas pitmaster started 51 years ago, one that continues to grow. You have to touch a lot of people for them to think of, of you, you know, and put you in the Hall of Fame. Chris Davis, KXAN News. American Royal runs the Hall of Fame, which by the way is in Kansas City. That's an annual livestock show, rodeo, and barbecue competition. Stubbs is one of oh, Stubbs is one of three people who's been inducted this year. The other two pitmasters inducted this year are from Alabama and North Carolina. CB Stubblefield is not only the pitmaster from our area inducted into the Hall of Fame. Nope, there's one more you might remember, Tootsie Tamatnez. She's the pitmaster for Snows. That's east of the Austin area in the town of Lexington. We talked to her last year when she was up for the award for best chef mm -hmm. in the Southwest. She didn't win the award, but last year she was inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. The 84-year-old started cooking barbecue when she was 31. The New York calls her work the best Texas barbecue <laughs> in the world. She also works for the local school district Aww. as a maintenance worker. I remember that story. And it's oh, so shocking right. that Chris found another barbecue store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't see a tray yeah. here. You know, I didn't know it started in Lubbock, Stubbs, yeah. which is really cool. I didn't know cool. that either, yeah. yeah. And their stuff is all over the shelves, I think, across the country. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm yeah. still claiming it is Austin's, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Started in Lubbock. They're known for their barbecue. Barbecue, we were saying their gospel brunch is so much fun. Yeah, I still haven't been to that. You've it's, been a couple times. It's a times, great right? time. It's a good time. It sounds cool.